All right, my friends, this is a super, super exciting time. And I'm really excited about this. The question really is, is whether or not Tiger Woods is going to play in the Masters in just about a week. Is he going to be there? So if you go to the, the website masters.com, there's a list of players. And there's also a list of past champions not in the field. Now, Phil Mickelson is on the list of past champions not in the field. And that news has been out for a while. And I'll get into that on another little podcast segment. So you could check that out as well. However, Tiger Woods is listed currently as one of the players, which would mean or indicate that couple things. One is he has not yet said he wasn't playing. So as of currently, he is at least considering playing in this Masters. Now, we haven't seen him play a, a real, well, tour event. We saw him play the, the father-son, PNC. And other than that, we haven't seen him since, what, Riviera in 2021 was his last event since his accident. So this is over a year since he's competed Will he be there? Now, here's, here's what we know. And I've got some inside sources that have told me this. So, like any journalist, I, I would not reveal my source. But I have pretty good concrete, well, for the most part, concrete evidence that Tiger Woods, his, his plane was at the Augusta Airport which is a small like private airfield where all the tour players fly into on their private jets. And then, so my sources have told me that his plane has been there recently, like last week. So that would insinuate that he was there at least getting in some practice rounds to determine whether or not Obviously, his leg could handle walking Augusta. Now, personally, I thought we would have seen him earlier than this. And why we didn't, I don't know. Maybe he wasn't ready. Maybe if he's going to put stress on that leg and really put it to the test, he's going to want to do it at Augusta instead of earlier. Because let's say he went to Bay Hill and he just couldn't do it, then we we know he wouldn't be at Augusta and maybe like if he did that and pushed it kind of hard, he would need a long break and therefore it wouldn't work out for him to recover in time. So we do know this. Uh, I'm pretty sure his plane was at the Augusta airport, which would only mean one thing. You only go there for one reason to play Augusta national. So we're going to assume that he was there playing Augusta National, practicing, testing his leg to see if he could actually walk Augusta, hilly, hilly course. So if he was out there, tested out his leg, and still on the list of competitors, I would assume that we're going to see Tiger Woods compete at Augusta National in the Masters this year. That's my prediction based off all the information we have. Now, by the time this podcast comes out, he may have already announced, I'm in, I'm out, I don't know. But at the time of recording this, Sunday night here, March 27th, I'm saying I believe Tiger Woods is going to be in the Masters. And I've also heard rumors and have other sources tell me that he has been out at the Medalist Club, which is in whatever Jupiter, Florida is where he lives, I believe, medalist, wherever medalist is. Uh, but that's where he uh, practices and plays a lot. So I have other rumors that have t uh, people that have confirmed to me that they have seen him out there walking 
and practicing out there walking. So, but that, I mean, I would assume that would be happening anyways. The real question is, is how did he hold up at Augusta? The question is, it, was he at Augusta? And I believe based on the information I have that he's been there and he's been practicing, which gives us a great reason to believe that he will be playing this year's Masters. So looking forward to that. So here's the deal. What, how do you think he will do? Let's, let's say he's in the field and he's there Thursday, Friday. How do you think he's going to perform at Augusta National? We know based from the PNC father-son challenge that he can still stripe the ball. He can hit it great. Now, at, the, at Augusta, you don't need great length to do well there. So that's not going to be a huge issue. He has his swing speed was still up 120 or more. So his swing speed is going to be fine. His ball speed is going to be fine. He's going to be getting the ball out there as far as he needs to. His iron play from rumors of people seeing him hit shots is that it's as good as ever, right? He's always been a phenomenal iron player. So we know that. And we do know that he's always been a phenomenal putter. So putting the ball, I would assume he has spent a ton of time practicing his putting. So I don't believe that's going to be an issue for him. So the question is, will his leg hold up? Well, I think it doesn't matter so much if his leg will hold up or not because we've seen him on a broken leg win a U.S. Open. So I think that'll be fine. I don't think he's going to push it so hard to where it's going to hurt that bad. I think his leg is fine in terms of its structure. It's not broken now. You know, it's healed, so that's good. It's just his muscle development in that leg is going to be the test for him. It's going to be hard to walk four days plus a couple practice rounds, which I would assume he would play. Uh, let's say he's already gotten his practice in there, right? So he shows up there on Monday, and he'll probably just chip and putt, and he might walk nine holes. Tuesday, he would probably do the same thing, and Wednesday, he probably wouldn't play any holes. He would just take it easy on his leg, and he would just practice some short game chipping and putting. That's probably his, his routine there, nine one day, nine the other day. He's already gotten in his other real main practice rounds. So he knows the course. He knows how to hit the shots. And his putting has always been among the best. So, and he, as he gets older, that only gets better. It's like Tom Brady, right? The more uh, experience you have, the better you do in that environment. So, like Tom Brady could just read defenses like in a split second. Tiger Woods can putt the Augusta National Greens like second nature. So he's going to know those greens better than anybody. His iron play has always been spectacular. It's going to be good. And he can hit shots. It's only thing that has really, I think, held him back has been that leg and being able to walk on it for 18 holes, let alone 72, on a hilly golf course like Augusta National. So the one thing that would do, if your leg gets sore and tight, it causes you to get a little bit out of sync and out of rhythm in your golf swing, which could affect your iron shots coming into the green, which would ultimately put him in difficult situations where you're just not close enough to that hole or on the right, you know, in the right position to make the putts. And so that I think would affect him. And the fact that he hasn't competed for over a year, uh, that's going to be a big, big challenge. But if he does play, I believe he will make the cut and he'll be close enough to get Tons of TV coverage. He's going to get that anyway. So that's going to be fantastic. And um, I just think it's going to be a super, super exciting Masters with Tiger in the field. I'm going to do whatever I can to be there one of the days. And if so, I will be sure to make sure that I follow the GOAT. Is he the GOAT? I don't know. He's Tiger Woods, that's for sure, and he's super exciting to watch. I, for one, cannot wait. Do you think he's going to make the cut? Do you think he is going to contend? Where do you think he's going to sit if, in fact, he plays 
Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Whew. Exciting times.